टू इंटू माइनस फोर दैट इज माइनस एट ओके सो थ्री माइनस एट डिवाइडेड बाई फाइव यू विल गेट माइनस फाइव डिवाइडेड बाई फाइव एंड फाइनली यू विल गेट माइनस वन सो दिस इज द आंसर माइनस वन राइट नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन सेवन ए सेकेंड पार्ट फाइंड कॉन्स्टेंट ए बी सी शो दैट वी इज इक्वल टू एक्स प्लस टू वाई प्लस ए जेड इंटू आई प्लस बी एक्स माइनस थ्री वाई माइनस जेड इंटू जे प्लस फोर एक्स प्लस सी वाई प्लस टू जे इज ई रोटेशनल नाउ द मीनिंग ऑफ ई रोटेशनल इज वॉट राइट दैट मीन्स कल ऑफ दैट फंक्शन वी इज इक्वल टू जीरो राइट दैट इज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ ई रोटेशनल कल ऑफ v that is equal to zero. Now call of v is equal to this determinant. The first row is i j k. The second row is del by del x, then del by del y, then del by del z. And the third row is the coefficient of i y and z, i j and k, right? So the coefficient of uh, this is four uh, x plus c y plus two z into k, right? So the k is missing here. So just correction there. Uh, x plus 2y plus a z, then b x minus 3y minus z, then 4x plus c y plus 2z. Now, the determinant of uh, this term that is i into you can see del by del y of this function. Okay, so that is c only. You will get Minus del by del z of this function, so derivative of this function with respect to z, so that is minus one, so minus minus one plus one, so finally you will get c plus one into i plus j into del by del y minus j into del by del x of this function, that is four. Minus del by del z of this function x plus two y plus a z so that is minus a so four minus a but outside the bracket we have already minus one so if we take plus if we write down plus then then you have to write down instead of four minus a you have to write down a minus four right so that's why here written a minus four into j plus del by del z into del by del x of this function that is uh, b. Minus del by del y of this function that is two. So b minus two into k. Now v is irrotational, so that's why c plus one into i plus a minus four into j plus b minus two into k that is equal to zero. So c is equal to minus one, a is equal to four, and b is equal to two. Right? Now. So this question, uh, this is the answer. C is equal to minus one, a is equal to four, and b is equal to two. Okay, which is the required value of a, b, and c. And this question was complete. Uh, was asked in two marks in this question paper. Next question, question seven b. State Green's theorem and also evaluate the integral six y plus x dx plus y plus two x dy. Where c the circle x minus two square plus y minus three square is equal to four. And this question was asked in five marks. Uh, this is a statement of Green's theorem. If m and n both are function of x and y, right? And del m by del y and del n by del x be continuous everywhere in a region R of x y plane bounded by a closed curve c, then integration of m dx plus n dy. That is equal to the double integration of del n by del x minus del m by del y dx dy. So, right. So, using this Green's theorem, we can easily find out the value of this integration. Right. We have to use this theorem to find the value of this integration. Uh, so, let's see how we find. M is equal to six y plus x, and n is equal to y plus 2x, right? 
सो वट इज डेल एम बाई डेल वाई द डेरिएटी ऑफ एम विद रिस्पेक्ट टू वाई दैट इज सिक्स एंड डेरिएटी ऑफ एन विद रिस्पेक्ट टू एक्स दैट इज टू राइट नाउ यूजिंग ग्रीन सीयरम दिस इज अवर स्टेटमेंट इंटीग्रेशन एम डी एक्स प्लस एन डी वाई दैट इज इक्वल टू डबल इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ डेल एन बाई डेल एक्स माइनस डेल एम बाई डेल वाई डी एक्स डी वाई सो दिस इक्वल टू डबल इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ टू माइनस सिक्स इंटू डी एक्स डी वाई सो नाउ दिस टू माइनस सिक्स इज बिकम कॉन्स्टेंट राइट माइनस फोर दैट विल आउटसाइड फ्रॉम द ब्रैक इंटीग्रेशन सो डबल इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ डी एक्स डी वाई एंड दैट इज एक्जैक्टली द एरिया ऑफ द रीजन राइट दिस डबल इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ डी एक्स डी वाई राइट ओवर द रीजन आर दैट इज एक्जैक्टली द एरिया ऑफ द रीजन सो एरिया ऑफ रीजन इज टू पाई इंटू टू इंटू माइनस फोर सो फाइनल यू विल गेट माइनस सिक्सटीन पाई नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन सेवन सी फाइंड द फ्लक्स एफ दैट इज इक्वल टू वाई जेड जे प्लस जेड स्क्वेयर के आउटवर्ड थ्रू द सरफेस एस कट फ्रॉम द सिलेंडर वाई स्क्वायर प्लस जेड स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू वन जेड ग्रेटर इक्वल टू जीरो बाई प्लेन्स एक्स इज इक्वल टू जीरो एक्स इज इक्वल टू वन सो सरफेस जी ऑफ एक्स वाई जेड दैट इज अवर वाई स्क्वायर प्लस जेड स्क्वायर राइट एंड आउटवर्ड नॉर्मल एन दैट इज राइट डायरेक्ट डिरेक्शनल ऑफ जी डिवाइडेड बाई इट्स नॉम दैट इज टू वाई जे प्लस टू जेड के डिवाइडेड बाई अंडर रूट फोर वाई स्क्वायर प्लस फोर जेड स्क्वायर दैट इज इक्वल टू टू इन ब्रैकेट वाई जे प्लस जेड के डिवाइडेड बाई टू अंडर रूट वाई स्क्वायर प्लस जेड स्क्वायर सो फाइनल यू विल गेट वाई जे प्लस जेड के सिमिलरली वी कैन फाइंड डी एस राइट सो दैट इज अगेन नॉम ऑफ मॉड ऑफ द डायरेक्शनल ऑफ जी डिवाइडेड बाई मॉड ऑफ डायरेक्शनल ऑफ जी इंटू के डी ए दैट इज इक्वल टू टू डिवाइडेड बाई टू जेड इंटू डी ए दैट इज इक्वल टू वन बाई जेड इंटू डी ए राइट सो फाइनली एफ डॉट एन दैट इज इक्वल टू वाई जेड जे प्लस जेड स्क्वायर के इंटू वाई जेड प्लस जेड के वैन वी मल्टीप्लाई दिस टू ब्रैकेट वी गेट वाई स्क्वायर जेड प्लस जेड क्यू दैट इज इक्वल टू जेड इंटू वाई स्क्वायर प्लस जेड स्क्वायर एंड नाउ वाई स्क्वायर प्लस जेड स्क्वायर इज वन राइट सो दैट्स वाई दिट इज इक्वल टू जेड सो द डबल इंटीग्रेशन एफ एन डी एस दैट इज इक्वल टू डबल इंटीग्रेशन विद जेड इंटू वन अपॉन जेड डी ए सो डबल इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ डी ए ओवर द रीजन आर दैट इज एरिया ऑफ आर दैट इज इक्वल टू टू राइट बिकॉज सो दिस क्वेश्चन वो इज कंप्लीट ना नाउ हियर स्टार्टिंग द न्यू क्वेश्चन पेपर जी टी क्वेश्चन पेपर जून टू अगेन Uh, this is a new syllabus of the vector calculus and linear algebra uh, which was asked in just before one month so uh, in this question paper in this question paper of new syllabus uh, there are first question is 14 objective questions right each question have one marks and uh, for that you have four choices and uh, from that four choices you have to select one choice which is uh, correct answer right so 14 objective question let's see one by one the first question we see how we solve this question paper let's see <coughs> gtu question paper of june 2014 right the first question objective questions uh, this is one of the latest question paper uh, okay this question paper was asked in just before one month in this gtu so the number of solution of the system of equations ax is equal to 0 where a is a singular matrix you have four choices a is equal to 0 b is equal to 1 c is equal to 2 and d is equal to infinite right so now and the answer is the correct answer is d infinite why this is correct answer just try to understand uh, we have ax is equal to 0 uh, that means what we have homogeneous system of linear equation right now for the homogeneous system of linear equations we have only uh, we have only two options either the solution is trivial solution right uh, that means uh, if we have a number of n variables 
सो एक्स वन इज इक्वल टू जीरो एक्स टू इज इक्वल टू जीरो एंड एक्स एन इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो द सोल्यूशन ऑफ द वैल्यू ऑफ द ऑल वेरिएबल दैट इज इक्वल टू जीरो एंड दैट इज ऑलवेज पॉसिबल इन एनी केस द होमोजीनियस फॉर द होमोजीनियस सिस्टम ऑफ लीनियर इक्वेशन राइट बट द सेकेंड केस इज द सेकेंड ऑप्शन इज इन्फाइनेटली मेनी सोल्यूशंस राइट द थर्ड ऑप्शन इज नॉट अवेलेबल फॉर द होमोजीनियस सिस्टम ऑफ लीनियर इक्वेशन दैट इज नो सोल्यूशन राइट because for homogeneous system of linear equation there is exa- uh, there is at least one solution exist always and which is trivial solution right so now our standard matrix uh, sorry our uh, matrix is singular matrix right singular matrix means that is a square matrix uh, clearly and the determinant of that matrix is equal to 0 now there is one important result or you can say theorem that is if the determinant of that matrix is not equal to 0 then we get unique solution right otherwise not but the here the determinant of that matrix is 0 because the matrix is a singular matrix that means what the trivial solution is not possible here and now you have only one option that is a infinitely many solution for the homogeneous system of linear equation so that's why the correct answer is infinite okay so just try to understand the proper reason behind the correct answer the second question each question have one marks right that a be a unitary matrix then a inverse a is you have this four options a a bar right a transpose and transpose of a bar that is we can sometime call a star right so and the correct answer is uh, as you can see on the screen that correct answer is again d the transpose of the right transpose of the complement of the matrix so why this is the correct answer because the definition of unitary matrix unitary matrix is what is the meaning of unitary matrix our matrix square matrix a is called unitary matrix if a into a star where a star is exactly transpose of the complement of the matrix where a into a star is equal to identity matrix right so in that case a into a star is equal to identity matrix that means what when we multiply in both the side with a inverse you will get a inverse is exactly the a star which is transpose of the complement of the matrix so that's why inverse of the matrix when our matrix is unitary matrix that is transpose of the complement of that matrix okay next question question 3 let w is equal to span of cos square x sin square x cos 2x then the dimension of w is we have four option first option is 0 then 1 2 or 3 now you can see <coughs> what is the meaning of span span of any vectors or any functions that is a linear combination of that vectors right now you can see the cos square x plus sin square x is equal to 1 right so this two the linear combi- combination of this two function become a constant term right and you can also other way cos 2x can be uh, cos square x also can be written in term of cos 2x because cos square x is equal to 1 plus cos 2x divided by 2 sin square x is also 1 minus cos 2x divided by 2 but okay so when you take span of this three functions you will get dimension of the basis right dimension is 2 always right because this two are the linear combination combination of this two vector that is a constant term so that's why the dimension of w is 2 so the answer is 2 now next question let p2 be the vector space of all polynomials with degree less than or equal to 2 then the dimension of p2 is right that is equal to 3 okay because uh, 
just try to understand p2 is exactly a plus bx plus cx square where a b c are constant right now the basis elements the basis elements is 1 x and x square the standard basis for the vector space p2 that is 1 x and x square how many basis vectors for p2 three right 1 x and x square that is standard basis uh, you can also write down any other basis of p2 right that can be infinitely many basis you can find but the main thing is the number of basis element that is always same in any basis so that is always 3 so the dimension of p2 is 3 okay next question question 5 the column vectors of an orthogonal matrix are uh, this is quite interesting question uh, just try to understand what i explain to here uh, the option is uh, av available that is orthogonal orthonormal dependent none of this and the correct answer is orthonormal why the correct answer is orthonormal because ortho first of all just try to understand the orthogonal matrix right a into a transpose that is equal to identity matrix if this situation happen then our matrix is a orthogonal right okay now just try to understand uh, with this notation uh, how we can understand let's see our matrix a is orthogonal right a is ortho gonal matrix right now that means what a into a transpose that is equal to identity matrix a into a transpose that is equal to identity matrix now in that case in that case see suppose uh, this is our matrix uh, whatever the elements right suppose this is our matrix a and this is our matrix a transpose and this is our identity matrix so that means what 